We're active people. We're flag people, too. One year after the Indianapolis 500, we decided to ride our bicycles back the 225 miles to Chicago. We must have found over a thousand flagpoles and flags, half of them no longer even fly flags, and most of the others had broken down parts, makeshift parts, that eat up a new flag fast. That's when we became the Flag Runners. One of the things we're always talking to people about is when do you change the halyard on your flagpole? Rich said maybe he thought it was time. Check this out, if you can get a close up of this snap hook, that's a telltale sign. You can tell because this brass swivel snap is so worn out that it's ready to break. We took a look at the other one. It was equally just as gone. The snap hook and the grommet, the metals, work back and forth, bit into each other, and after a few years, that's what happens. It's time to change the rope before we have to go all the way up top to change the to change it from up there. Anyway, let's change the rope. We're gonna join the two ends. We're gonna pull it up through the truck at the top, bring it back down, retie it in a new way. We're gonna show you how to do that. You know, this is the scary part. At some point, you gotta trust yourself to get the rope, the new rope, up through the pulley at the top and bring it back down. What we do is we take some electrical tape and we just go ahead and tape one end, the old end, to the new end. We've been able to um, electrical tape the new end to the old end and we're bringing the halyard down, we've taken it up through the pulley and we're just gently bringing it through. It's cooperated and it's coming down. Once we have it secure in our hands, we'll tie it off again to make sure we don't lose it. And we get the new flag flying up there. People ask us all the time, how do I tie my halyard together? We're just going to tie it. We have a special knot we use. We put the two ends opposing each other. We get some slack on each side. And we wrap it around our thumb twice like that. And we take this in and we go under our thumb and bring it up along and out our thumb to that end of the uh, halyard, okay? Then we just simply go around and do the same thing on the other side. We go around, take the rabbit back through the rabbit hole. So we have two circles and, and the halyard going back up, okay? When we bring this together, it's going to get tight. So you just have two knots against each other, and it will actually tighten itself. This will be one end, and then we'll just do that same thing on the other. You know, if you look up here close, we've got two different size snap covers. Sometimes you don't have to have a snap cover. You could use a rubber coated. You do lose the swivel aspect of it. This is a swivel snap. It's just been coated with a rubber. This is another kind of rubber. It helps keep it quiet. It's uh, protective of the snap hooks. We bring it together just like we would be putting the snap on it. And we're gonna want it to be about two and a half feet above the knot because uh, we're gonna fly a five by eight flag. And then we're going to um, take the end of our rope through the eyelet Wrap the snap hook itself back through. This way it can adjust. It'll be a nice clean bit and adjust when we need it to. Bring this down. We're all set. There you go.
Thanks for watching the Flag Runners, brought to you by flagdesk.com.